Hey everybody, what's up? What's up, what's up? We're going to make some Pischetti squash. <laughs> Pischetti is what my son used to call it when he was little. He couldn't say spaghetti. And uh, he likes it. So I decided I was going to make this. And it's got a tough skin. So I used an ice pick. And poked little holes in it. And uh, we're going to do it just like we did the other squash. Um, and put it in the oven or in the microwave for about four and a half minutes to soften it up. And then we'll slice it in half and show you what I got. Was, uh, we're going to do it kind of the same way as we did the kibachi squash. Um, and squash is good for you. It's uh, low in carbs but high in vitamins and so forth. Um, but anyway, let's get this in on... Four and a half minutes or try to And then once this gets done, I will show you how to do the rest, which is really easy also. Let me go. Yeah, I, uh, my, um, Sony yeah, it was a Sony um, DVD Blu-ray Blu-ray DVD, whichever it quit playing uh, Blu-rays all of a sudden and, but see, I'm I always buy that extended warranty and I thought I wondered if I bought the extended warranty, and I looked it up. Yes, yes, I did. So I contacted them, and uh, they had no problem whatsoever. And they refunded my money, all of it. I was surprised um, because I bought it through a company that was approved by Sony, but it was off of eBay. So, yeah, you have to kind of watch for that, watch that, you know. And, uh, so anyway, I ordered a new one, and I got it, but they didn't send the right, uh, cable. They sent my cable. They sent a regular HDMI cable. And I said, well, that's not what it says they're supposed to send me. They're supposed to send me something else. Um, a brand name. And it had no brand name. It was just blank. So I contacted, uh, I contacted Amazon. And the guy says, well, you can send it all back. And I didn't feel like getting under you know, the cabinet and unhooking everything and sending it back. And I said, well, that's okay. It works. But I wasn't, you know, I wasn't able to get on to uh, YouTube. It would say that this uh, site is too big or something like that. And so I said, that can't be right. It wouldn't even be on here if it couldn't play. It. So uh, I looked up and someone says, well, if you reset the factory settings a lot of times the YouTube will you know work so I reset the factory settings not nah, didn't help so I started thinking I says you know what I don't even know what the speed is on this cord this uh, uh, HDMI cable that they sent me I don't have a clue because it doesn't say it's just a no-name brand and uh, I says, I'm going to look at, look and find out 
about an HDMI cable. They're, you know, I'll order a 4K cable or something like that. And I got in there looking, and they do have 4K cables. And they have 8K cables also. And I know a lot of 8K is not out yet, but it's coming. And uh, Sparklight has already put in for 10K. So I thought, well, I might as well order a cable and see how it works. See if it's any good. So I ordered an 8K cable because uh, I forgot what the, I think it's 45 gigabytes per second or something like that. And I ordered it and it came in yesterday and I put it on and I'm going to tell you right now, the colors were automatically better. Um, oh, and at, right after I put it on, I went back into uh, and reset everything to factory settings um, on my DVD player and uh, on my DVD Blu-ray and I reset everything and I, I uh, turned it on and I went to YouTube. No problem whatsoever. There was no buffering or anything. It just... And see, that's what a lot of people don't realize. You can get standard cable, um, a D HDMI cable that you used to use years ago. And people don't understand that, yeah, those are okay, but they're not going to get you through everything. And a lot of it's uh, bogging down because of the speed of the cable and everything. So, uh, yeah, if you're thinking something's not right and it's not getting through to wherever you want to, try out a cable. You can get them. I got this, uh, the one I got now for, uh, I think it was $5 and something total. And, uh, man, it was instant. It was great. So, anyway, that's just a tech hit tech hint today. Okay, so it's been in there four and a half minutes, and what we're going to do is we're going to open this thing up, and we're going to get ready, and we're going to cook it. So, without further ado, I'm going to put this over this way, the magic of television, and get on my My stained mittens. We've been washed about 20 times and they're still yellow. Alright. I promise you. They've been washed about 20 times and they are still stained yellow. We're going to try to see if we can cut through this now. Now, you can save these seeds if you want to, which I probably will do. Let's do that. It's a little bit hot. Hotter than my hands can take. Okay, let's put this mitten back on. And they're probably going to get blonde this time my mittens. <laughs> they got yellow, now they're going to get blonde. And 
while we're doing this, that yep it's like squash we're gonna put our oven on 375 Seeds are not hot, just that that uh, rind is. Back this up a bit. see how easy this is. And if I had a bigger place, it would be super easy. <laughs> but I don't. seeds out the way and we're going to put these oh seed got away here another one got away if you think you're getting away that's right I talk to my food <laughs> okay now what we're going to do Missed a couple. Now, we're going to put on some extra virgin olive oil. this on there a little bit get it all around instead of just hanging out there now some people believe in the and swear by this pink salt and I had some but which is what this is but I couldn't find it the other day found it now so and you can put coarse salt or if you want these to if 
if you want these to be like uh, eggs, you can. There's a stinky salt you can get. I've got some. It's stinky, and uh, you can use it. Now, since this is going to be a pasquetti, spaghetti, we franken a little garlic powder on it. Actually, these are garlic granules that I use. Uh, you can get them on uh, Amazon also. And usually they're cheaper actually than buying those little bitty uh, containers worth. And so I just get a, a packet deal. I'll press it on there. Now, what I'm going to do, I'm going to turn this bad boy over, and turn this bad boy over. And as soon as it goes off, Now we're at anyway we're going to leave it in for about about 30 to 35 minutes or so maybe 45 minutes it depends you want it fork tender and that way you can just pull the the uh, shred it We're at 275, so anyway, we're going to bake it like this for about at least 30 minutes. And then we're going to turn it over and check to see if it's pork tender and if it's uh, actually browning. If it's not browning, we're going to leave it sitting up and put it back in the oven. Don't worry, I'm not going to make y'all sit and watch that because there's not much to watch. But Yeah, my uh, Alexa went wacko yesterday. You ever have one of those days where everything just... <laughs> goes crazy. I did. I was baking some bread and I was inventing some bread actually and I've got I'll uh, do that next time. I'll post that because it's really good bread and uh, it's a little bit on the sweet side kind of but I love the texture and everything, and it's got some secrets that I incorporated in it, and uh, you'll have to come back and watch that maybe next week, and I'll show you how I did it. And if you try it, you'll be like, I guarantee you'll love it. You know, it's not a, not really that high in sugar. It just tastes like it. And, uh, for a couple of years, I was on, uh, what do they call it, uh, Diabetes 2 Watch. And uh, my doctor, I swear, it was funny. I'd give the blood test, and then I'd go in the week later, and she'd ask me, what happened on this day? And I'm like, uh, and I'd think, uh-oh, it was my granddaughter's birthday, and I ate cake. She could tell that. That's scary. But, uh, she goes, okay, as long as you knew what you did. And I, I was like, yeah, you ever try to tell a, 
a little girl that you can't have her cake that she baked. It doesn't go over too well. <laughs> and she started laughing. And then uh, I started coming up where I didn't have my, everything was in normal limits. So she took me off of the diabetes watch. You don't have diabetes. They'll put you on this with just watching out for you, but you don't have it. And we're going to take you off of it. So she did. Um, I got a cool doctor. We have this, um, I'm not sure and I can't guarantee the bread, but I'm going to show you how much sugars are in it. Let me see. Hmm. There's a warning. Oh, it's 60 calories per tablespoon, and I used a quarter of a uh, quarter of a cup. That's like what four tablespoons or so. So 60. That's your calories right there. And I used uh, sugar, but it doesn't say how much sugar is in it. Anyway, let's put this in. Now, I want you to sit here and watch this. Make sure it doesn't... doesn't run off or anything. That's right. I eat what I cook. If a chef or a cook doesn't eat what they cook, don't eat it either. <laughs> okay, so I'll see y'all back here in 30 minutes and... Uh, Alexa, set the alarm for 30 minutes. 30 minutes, starting now. By the way, it looks like the weather in your area has been changing lately. I can keep you up to date if you ask Alexa, what's the forecast? Alexa, what's the forecast? <laughs> Currently, in Prescott Valley, it's 94 degrees Fahrenheit with clear skies and sun. We can expect more of the same today, with a high of 95 degrees and a low of 63 degrees. By the way... There's an excessive heat warning for that area Friday, June 10th, 10 a.m. to Saturday, June 11th, 8 p.m. Excessive heat warning. She ain't been in this place. I'm two floors up. <laughs> it's excessive. So if it's 95 now, it's probably 110 in here. And that's why I'm going to let y'all go so I can turn on the air conditioner and kick back for 30 minutes. Okay, see so y'all in 30 minutes. Okay, so it's been 30 minutes. Let's see what we got here. It'd be so nice to have a big kitchen where cameras hang over the top of you. And all that. Woo, it's a little warm. You can burst the heat when you open it up. Let's see. Salt. Got a little bit of char. Not much. Okay, so we're going to go in. Another 10 minutes. To get that little bit of char, because I like that little char. Now, it doesn't look like spaghetti when it's got a little bit of char, but it tastes very, very good. Okay, so we will see you back in 10 minutes. Alexa, set the alarm for 10 minutes. 
I hear it sizzling. And yes, it is sizzling. Oh, the cow looks like some, uh, looks like some, uh, turkey sausages popped up on there. <laughs> You have sausage with uh, your spaghetti, right? Look at there. And if you have these sausages, turkey sausages with your spaghetti, um, you're only going to get about 300 calories. I don't know what kind of bottle that was. I need to get a, another bottle. Okay. Look at there. See how easy that is? Pick it up, put it on the plate. And it is hot. Going right through that mitten. Let me put a couple of sausages on here. Well, it doesn't want to come off. Now then, what do you say to that? And I got some bread that I made, homemade, and I'll put some, uh, what I'll do is I'll uh, melt a little bit of uh, butter and put some of the garlic granules in it and smear it on the bread. Okay, I hope you got something out of this. I hope you'll try it. It's very easy to do. No reason why you shouldn't and your kids probably like it. My kid liked it. He's a picky eater. eater. Okay, so, and if you do try it or know a different recipe or something, drop me a comment. And like I say, if you're one of the 400 that got uh, deleted somehow, please add yourself back. I didn't delete anybody. Okay, so if you're in a warm place, go swimming. And it's getting warm out here. It's 95 outside and it's about 100 and 15 in here so I'm going to get off here and turn on the AC so if you're in a warm place go swimming and if you're in a cold place I feel sorry for you and there are still some cold places but go swimming and if you can't find a, a place to go swimming that's warm find someone to snuggle up with okay y'all stay safe and I love y'all and remember if you do this it's your kitchen your rules you make it be proud of it Talk to you later. Bye.